Did you just hear that growl? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is what? I, I bet you I caught that. I bet you I caught it. Where are you at? Brother, be quiet. See? Be quiet. Be quiet. Believe it or not, guys, I have smelled the dead body before. Like some, I smell rock. It smells like rock. Ashes to ashes, you are all down. Hey guys, welcome back to Ashes to Ashes. Um, I know it's been a while. This is our first video of 2022. Um, we're pretty close to where we're going tonight. The lady called us in, and uh, apparently, she has a sister that's a medium, and she said there's a lot of spirits in that house, and she's going to give us a walk through once we get there. So, let's head over there. But before we do, guys, stick around to the end of the video because we're going to talk about the town that we're in right now, which is Amherst, Nova Scotia, a beautiful town. That's actually where Chris lives. Um, we're going to talk about just quickly about uh, a crazy story that happened years many 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 years ago and this uh, this story will baffle you it's one of the most terrifying stories ever told okay guys let's do this okay guys we are here with Shelly and Chris um, they're gonna take us on a little tour and let us know uh, what is hap what is happening and where and a little bit of their experiences so uh, let's do that so one day I was cleaning up the kitchen and I'm alone in the kitchen and I hear, um, I don't know, the mail came or something. So I go out this way to my door and I walk. Now it's kind of narrow here. When I come back, this door is open. I could, didn't open it because I can't get past here to get to the door. So that's kind of one of the interesting things that happened with that. Use this for B roll. Yeah, huh? <laughs> well, no, there will be no audio. <clears throat> so, this is now my son's. Alright, so when we first moved here, this was the room that I slept in just on a mattress on the floor. And I was getting ready for the day. I had a mirror over here and blow drying my hair. And I could smell like old, dirty old man kind of smell, which I thought it was weird. And so I kind of moved the blow dryer, you know how it sucks in smells. No smells. Went back to the other side. Smell happens again. And don't know what that was. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a whole hour long segment. And then we just finished it. It's like... So yeah, I, have, I walk in here every single day and every time I walk in right past that door Every single time I just I feel something and it's like just right in my stomach um, And then I'll turn on the light and it gets a little bit better, but then it's like I walk in the room and it's almost like um, When you walk into a room and it's full of people and they look at you and just stop talking That's what it feels like. But of course, there's nobody in the room and it just feels very eerie <laughs> um, But you kind of get used to it the more you're in it. Oh Hold on one sec. This is heavy. heavy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got a bad pain in my side right now. Oh As yeah, soon as I walk really in there, all that hurts Anyway, yeah, mm. I, I know that this room has a lot of tension in it <laughs> I chose this room. I could have been in the main house But I chose this room because I liked it because I was kind of more isolated. I had like my own space more independent um, but it definitely didn't help that um, <laughs> you could definitely feel stuff. <laughs> yeah. And this this is literally just what it feels like all the time. Like even like the middle of the day, like this is just what it feels like in my room at all the time. <laughs> now guys, I don't know if you heard me just now, you probably did. As soon as I walked in that door, I'm still feeling it. I feel like a, just a big shot to the ribs. And it, it's actually quite painful. Yeah, actually. this is like, this oh, is heavy. Gosh. And there it's like electric, like, almost like rubbing a balloon on you, mm -hmm. right? Just charged up here? No, this is heavy. This is like being underwater. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's what it feels like in here. 
So where we're standing right now in this area is what we call the servants' quarters. It's um, the back part of the house, probably where servants would come. There's a back set of stairs here so they would be able to go right down into the kitchen and uh, do what they needed to do for the day. And so this would be their living quarters up in this area. I just heard... Oh, my foot squeaked if that's no. what you heard. It's like... Mm. Well, it wasn't me. It was a woman's. Mm. Yeah. That's me moving on. Yeah, no, it wasn't I right. mean, there's so many squeaks in the house. If I walk into my room, this light's always off, and it feels like somebody's just always looking at me. Just stay like, there? Like when I'm just walking in my room, I try not to look at this bathroom at all. Just just because I feel like like there's somebody that's actually just looking at me. <laughs> Imagine that oh used to be another like living area. Mm. You feeling anything there? Yeah, the shower. Definitely the shower. Don't get wet. <laughs> We'll come in. We'll yeah. come in in uh, a couple rooms. I just want to come in and just sit and be quiet. That's something yeah, we yeah, don't yeah. do very often exactly. because my mouth is usually yeah. quiet. But I just want to sit and mm -hmm. listen. All right. Now this is our our bedroom. Yes. Been told that our closet did used to be a portal. Um, this closet. Uh, onto yeah. oh. over there. Um, in this room, um, I do get like feeling and uh, a kind of activity and, um, but I feel like for the most part, um, the spirits kind of follow me around wherever I am. So, yeah. You know, just because I sleep here, they're here. I don't think they would be here otherwise. Like, there's not. I think yours are mostly coming from the servants. And I think they're still doing their rounds. Even yeah. though you're mm -hmm. here, it's like they're not They're not stopping. There is a story my sister told me when we were out in Alberta and she cleared this girl. She was running the halls um, naked, just frantic to to, you know get away or pee so she helped her helped her go but yeah okay. and things would just happen like the closet door you physically have to, to did you just hear out. that growl yeah. oh i didn't hear it but i wouldn't be surprised yeah. <laughs> um, right out of the room you were just talking yeah about. and the closet door um you literally have to turn the handle to actually like open That's the door good, yeah. and there's times where it'll just you'll hear the click and all of a sudden it'll just open yeah, yeah. my gosh that was clear as a bell i'm still close to the yeah. it's not like a so Mr. Christie hangs out in here. See ya. Here. See ya. I, I bet you I caught that. I bet you I caught it. Where are you at? <laughs> I still got the chills bad in here. That just moved. The uh, cooler just moved. I think mm -hmm. I have it. Oh, okay. Where are you at? So, um... When I got my wisdom teeth out, this is the room that I slept in for about a week just straight. <laughs> I was basically living on the couch. And a lot of the times, um, with this door, you have to physically, like, you hear it click and then it opens. And I'd be sitting on the couch watching TV or whatever, and all I'd hear is click, click. And all of a sudden the door would just open. It would just open. There was no reason for it. There's no wind that day, nothing. And it just, like, it's just, you get a e really eerie feeling about it, and it's just... Oh, you just get chills from it. <laughs> so what's in there? Uh, right now, it's just storage. Okay. Um, you can feel the energy when that door gets open, though. Yeah. See, it's like, like it's not easy to... Like, yeah, it doesn't come open. And it, you have to it doesn't even open once it is turned. Yeah, like, you, you can't pull on it. Like, you have to, you have to click and turn it. So there's no reason why it should be open. Exactly. <laughs> okay. 
So the owner of the house, the fellow that built this house, um, he apparently might still be here um, and he doesn't want to leave and he does sit in this room. He has a top hat and uh, he doesn't want to go, doesn't want to go anywhere. I wonder if that's who I heard. Thank you. Look at this. It's possible. <laughs> I've heard growls before, but that was, and it sounded like a man. Yeah, it came in, that just. Yeah. I didn't mean to be mean to the camera or anything. It's just natural. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Shut no, no. Yeah. yeah, so we're, we're going to the kitchen, but right below us is the stairs down to the basement. And um, you can feel you can feel the basement on the stairs for sure. Uh huh. Let's take you back to the place on here. Yeah, I know. Who wants to go first? I, I do a lot of work down here whenever I'm building something or tinkering around and um, this side it's almost like in three sections so this is like section one and there's a section and then there's a dirt section mm -hmm. and it's almost like a separate wall anything past that it's just an entirely different mood and I absolutely hate going back there <laughs> and if I don't have to come down to the basement I don't <laughs> especially in the night or alone just because it doesn't feel right um, it, it, it's a feeling that I don't want to have, so if I can avoid it, then that's what I'm going to do. And I'm just going to kneel down a little bit yeah. to be on their level. So um, I just wanted to talk to uh, I, uh, a couple of the kids that I think are down here. You don't have to worry about us. We're not here to hurt you. Um, there's Dave and Chris here, and they just want to know if you have anything to say or if you want to play. Um, they might bring down a toy later that you can play with. So you can go ahead and talk and play with them. They're really fun. It, it is a little bit of a strange story, but um, one day me and Chris were here and um, we were going to basically, we we're both upstairs. Well, at least I thought we were both upstairs. And I saw him at the top of the stairs, and I'm like, oh, just a minute, i got to grab my coat. And I ran into my room, grabbed my coat, came back out. Christian's gone, and I hear him in the kitchen. And I'm like, well, that was quick. And he's like, what? And I'm like, well, you were just up here. And he goes, no, I've been down here for, like... I was in the middle of making eggs. He was, like, like making I was, eggs. I was even, but I, I saw him walking yeah. towards the top of the stairs, and it was, to, in my mind... It looked just like Chris, and so, mm. and it was like solid figure. And he's like, "No, I've been down here." So, yeah. Still yeah. electrified. Like still. Yeah. Is there anybody here that would like to talk? Set the box down. I might want to turn yeah. the box up a little bit because we're not working on this shot, shotgun microphone right now. It's just a camera mic. Might even be on. Is this where you do your work? Did you just turn the box off? I think I just turned the box off. All I did was set it down. Mm. <laughs> it's not the cord, is it? Okay, let's try this. <laughs> All I did was set it down. Audio in pitch. Is this where you work? If you'd like to talk, you can talk through this box that we have here. This device. That's it, son. No, it doesn't matter. 
Can you tell us your name? Sound like I said shit. Not really. My phone just moved. Could be a vibration. Do you know who lives in this house? Did I say Gordon? What's her husband's name? I think she's. Who's the female that lives in this house? That just sounds like Chris. That's not the female. Can we get the female's name? Who is that? Is there anything you'd like to say before we leave this room? Not everybody all at once. We'll come and talk to you guys too. We're just looking for whoever's in this room right now. camera for a second my battery lights flashing I'll be right back I get something in that shop Are you showing up as a light here? A light form? homeowner that lives in this room stays in this room. Is this the, uh, was this a servant's quarters years ago? Is this where the servants had to stay? How many spirits are here? Spirits are here. I heard it say, and then something after that. I have a recorder here in my hand. If you would like to talk, you can talk into it and give me some answers back. 
Are there any spirits here? Can you tell me the name of the person that sleeps in this room? Do you know that you have passed on? Do you need help? How many spirits are here? spirits are here. Okay. Is there anybody here in the bathroom? <laughs> Take your bath. Did many of you have to bath here? Is this where they told you? Is this where they told you you had to bath? I did it, Chris. spend too long in this room here, but if there's anything else you would like to say before we move on, it's the last chance to tell us. <laughs> Do I have a, I'm getting jaw pain. Back is gone. Just kill me. Like stiff neck. Oh. <laughs> So we're going to, uh, we've got a couple more rooms to do. Okay, there's something up with this. And we're going to, uh, 
check that room over there. Yeah. Where we heard growls and goosebumps and everything else in there. We see, I thought we seen something move in there. Yeah. Huh? I'm not feeling anything. I didn't earlier. Like I didn't this feel feels a thing. The most yeah. Oh, I, in the kitchen, this feels like the most homiest. I didn't feel a thing in here. No. Why is my book still open? Okay. Would you say you heard the uh, girl like whining or something? Was it down there? Yeah. It's not to keep, uh, to keep repeating ourselves every time, but if you guys hear or see anything, let us know down in the comments. We always go back and check it out and uh, see if we can see what you guys are seeing. If there's anybody here in the room that would like to talk, you can come talk to this device that I have right here, waving my hand over. We'll be able to get your voice. <clears throat> or you can come close. And we'll be able to pick you up. If there's anything you would like to say, let us know. Could you tell us who stays in this bedroom? Is there anything you would like to say? What, what is that? This is what is that. What is that? What is that? What is that? What is that? What is what? How many spirits are up here right now? Can somebody talk to us? This is a device that will pick up your voice. <clears throat> hello, hello, hello. 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 Oh. Could, could you tell us how many people or how many spirits are in this house? Is this the chair that you stay in? Or is it the chair in the hallway? Focus. There. No, other focus. Doom, doom, doom. What's that? Who? Doom. This chair? That just said brothers and didn't say it though because I had it off. But if you it says be quiet. Brother, be quiet. See? Be quiet. Be quiet. Which brother? <laughs> Probably me. Do you mind us being in this house? Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. <laughs> But we'd like to talk to you if that's possible. We're not here to make you mad. We just want to talk. Unless it's whoever's talking to us telling the other ones to be quiet because we want to talk to oh, yeah. the other ones. Are you stopping the other ones from talking? Are they not allowed to talk to us? Be quiet. All I'm saying. Yeah. If you're telling, if you're telling the other spirits what to do, then how about you talk to us? Who are you? You know what? <clears throat> Let's try this. Close it out, just so we can you just restart it. Yep. Yeah. yeah. I thought it was so we can clear that in case anybody's wondering. 
So it's totally fresh. So we restarted it just to make sure it wasn't a glitch, guys. Just now, just to make sure. So can you give us your name? Just first name. Not worried about the last name. I believe that was them downstairs, guys. What's your first name? Come on, you are all overpowering. Tell everybody else to be quiet. Give us your name. So we know who we're talking to. Where should we go next? Is there anything in that room over there that we should be worried about? My back's too Now this is our... Please. This is our least favorite room here. Thought we seen something over there. I <coughs> could have swore it was that cooler but I heard a growl in here well, just before we come in yeah, when we were over in the room we just left I was standing, standing at the door and I heard a growl or a I'm going to sit down something <coughs> Switch lights. Put the Who's light in this room? Why do you stay in this room? If you're still in this room, could you make something else move? Anything. Or a noise of some sort just in this room? We heard you in here earlier, so we know you're here. We just want to talk, and that is it. Find out more about you. Do you know the people living in this house now? Just talk. Yes. So you're okay with them staying here? Are you okay with them staying here as long as they show you respect? You know our names. Could you let us know some of yours? Are you the master of this house? Are you okay with the changes that have been happening to your house? Not your house, but this house? We don't have much more time here, so if anybody would like to say anything, we are listening. <clears throat> but you have to let us know you're here. Uh, 
audio. Yeah, I heard something weird. Like a little laugh. Yeah. I just hear you laugh. Sailor. 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 Who's a sailor? Sailor. Who was the sailor? Was there a sailor that lived here? Could you give us a sign that you're listening and you're still in this room with us? Can you knock on that door or on a wall? You can use our energy if you want, if you need it, <coughs> to knock on something in here or move something. <coughs> be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. This, whatever this is, either is stopping someone else from speaking to us or just don't like us talking to it. someone run, ran their be quiet not their fingernails but their fingertips on the wall or be something quiet. who do you want to be quiet who are you telling to be quiet sailor sailor I don't know who sailor this sailor is we'll have to check the ask the closet sailor 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 Closet. We'll have to ask the homeowner if there's anything that has to do with the sink. Yeah, so we'll do it. <coughs> you alright? Sailor. No. Oh, well, I don't know. I can't tell what the paintings are. What about this sailor? Closet where you stay is the closet where the sailor stays. You know, it kind of makes sense though, too, because we're um, like way back when the fort was still open, being this close to the water, oh, yeah, they'd have to come into town somewhere to stay. This I house has been here for like a long time. So, some place that they stayed, maybe this was the room that they actually stayed in and just once passed on. Right. Decided just to come back to call this their own. Is there anybody in this closet that stays in this closet? saying be quiet. What is also a place? I don't know. I was looking at that too. And there is two uh looks like grip holes that are there and there. I don't know guys if this would be an old uh Is there something in this room that might be hidden? Looks like there's a spot for a finger there. Yeah. Yep. What's under this board? I was just ready to turn this off guys and it says Satan 
don't know if you can see that. It's gone now. Oh. What about Satan? Yes. Yes. Satan's under the board. <laughs> Downstairs. Okay. Over here. Over where? You gotta let me know so we can come find you. Where do you want us to go so you can talk? Okay, guys, we're gonna. Head down the basement and it's going to finish off this investigation down there. So, uh, if there's, any, if there's anything <coughs> that wants to follow us downstairs to the basement, is more than welcome. We can talk down there. guys we'll see you in the basement Sun, guys. Don't leave. Don't leave? So this might be where... So upstairs it was saying be quiet, be quiet. Now we just got to don't leave. Beverly. So there might be something... Monster. Just so, so we did get Satan, Hell, the Monster is now. Um, Where's Beverly? Where's Damage. Where's Amy? Father. Closer. Which way? Can you tell me when I'm getting close? I think that the, the spear said feel as comfortable enough to talk. Or down, or down here. There's the coast. What? Coast. Come here. Oh, cooked toast. Oh. Yeah. Like fresh, yeah. fresh, fresh toast. Soldier. Might have to do with the. Here. Stop. Guys, we're on that road from where we filmed uh, over at that fort. Um, fort, 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 fort Bolger. Now. And there were a lot of soldiers, a lot of sailors. Maybe that's what we're picking up on. We're not far at all from that. Maybe. Stand. We hear the smell too. Oh, hit. Well, I know. We're smelling toast. Like just fresh pot toast. Yeah, just on the toast. We just walked through the kitchen to come it's down. We're just walking down, grabbing stuff, and then coming back up. Rituals. Rituals down Rituals. here. Yeah, I think there's something, something, something happened or something went on in this basement. I mean, why wouldn't it? Years and years and years ago, basements out of the public eye. Toast. Yeah, I get it. Right here where I'm standing. More toast. That's different. That's yeah. strange. Yeah. Who was down here with us? Can you give me a name or a number of how many people? None. Oh. Never. Okay. 
Beverly or Amy? No, it was Beverly, it was Amy. Are you the kids that are down here? Nancy. Nancy? You have a it was Beverly and Amy and Nancy? Watching you. Okay. They're watching us, Nancy's watching us. We're all of you are watching us. The spider room. Oh, I go so far. <laughs> I'm going so far, and then I'm parking my ass right where I'm at. Beverly, Amy, Nancy. Are you still down here? Are you stuck down here? Trap. I see a shadow of a spider moving, but I don't see the spider. Why? Look on the table. See right there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's moving. Oh, yeah. What? Right there. Closer. Closer. <laughs> Chris can get closer. Like some, I smell rot. It smells like rot. It didn't smell like that earlier. So I know what... Yeah. I know what the dirty soil and stuff smells like. I smell rot in here. And I have, believe it or not, guys, I have smelled a dead body before. This is not quite as pungent, but it's uh, pretty close. Who, I'm going to kneel down because I feel like stuff's crawling on my head. <laughs> like, probably. It doesn't help any, though. Is there anybody buried in this basement? When I asked the first time, guys, it said sure, if you didn't hear that. I like filming over my shoulder sometimes just to see if there's anything that shows up while I'm not looking. Can you tell us where to look down here? Can you take us to where you're at? Just let us know. Stressed. Okay. Not to be stressed. Stressed. All we want to do is talk. You let us know where you're at, we'll come to you. Talk. My ear causing you harm. My knees will walk up if I say <laughs> Oh man. How about you come follow us? Angel. Now it's Angel. You can move here and follow us. <clears throat> it's a little bit easier for us to stand up. Yeah. A little more creeped out for dinner, less creeped out for me. You're in the basement right now. Still in the house. If you want to leave, you can leave. No leave, you can leave. No leave, you can leave. I don't know if that was upstairs or down here. Yeah. Hopefully the camera picked up on it. Kind of sounded like it was like either one of these doors or a tub there or something. Can you make another noise if that was you? Or could you just make a noise if it wasn't you? Can you give us a sign down here? Guilty. Guilty. You don't have to stay in the house if you don't want to. You can 
leave at any point. Cross over. And if you want to leave, you can. I was just going to say you could walk over the door when we walk over. You can't follow us, but you can leave the door at the same time we do. Is that why you're scared to leave? Because you're scared that you might go somewhere where there's flames? Guide. Huh? Guide. Guide? You want us to guide you out so you can leave? Okay. Send them on. This will be Brian. Brian. Mm -hmm. Well, any spirit that might be down here, you can leave. You can follow us upstairs. You can cross over from up there. You are not a prisoner in this house. The people living here do not mind you staying here if you would like to, but you don't have to stay here. You can leave. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed tonight's video. Um, like we said earlier, we were going to tell you a little bit of something about this uh, this town. And many years ago, there was a story of a girl named Esther Cox. And uh, she was, this is a true story, she was, it's one of the biggest, what would you say, Chris, demonic? Yeah. Demonic stories in Can Canadian history. And to tell you the truth, guys, I think it's a uh, uh, more terrifying story than the Amityville Haunting and The Conjuring. There was a girl that was terrorized by uh, a demon or an evil spirit here in town at Amherst years ago. You can go look it up. Um, look up The Great Amherst Mystery. There was also a novel written called uh, Mind to Kill. Like, she's mine to kill. Um, it's a scary read. It's It was some of the most terrifying things. This girl was tortured. No matter where she went, it didn't stay in her house. Um, I'll, I'll put a picture of the house up right now. No matter where they went. No matter where she went, sorry. This thing followed her everywhere. And uh, you have to... You have to read this story. Um, I'm surprised there's not a movie made of it yet. But uh, guys, you got to see it. You're here to read the story or look it up. Um, the Great Amherst Mystery. But anyway, this it's not house. The house isn't here now because you know me and Chris would have been in it. But this is where this is where the house stood. Because there's was right in this area where this right around this building. This is where the house stood. This is, anyway guys, this is where the house was, right around here somewhere, and now, the, the buildings that are around here, there's still counts of people that have still say that things, a lot of weird things go on in these buildings, there's a health center over there, people say that there's still things that happen there, but wait until you hear about this story guys, um, telling you it's going to be one of the scariest stories you've ever heard it was witnessed by the, the people at Amherst here uh, Esther Cox it was years and years and years she, obviously she dead. she's uh, passed now but uh, one of the scariest um, demonic stories you'll ever read so go check that out guys thanks for staying to the end um, if you guys once you guys again if you guys uh, see anything or hear anything sorry it's cold my lips are quivering I can't talk right <laughs> Uh, if you guys heard or, or seen anything in the video, let us know down in the comments. Thank you so much for being there. Um, yeah, so we'll see you on the next one. Get your on.